Um, walk me through a couple weeks back, um, just uh, your experience of like, you know, kind of, what was it like to kind of not just catch that first touchdown, but then also like, uh, you know, just kind of get back to the sidelines and experience that celebration for the first time? Uh, it was just truly a blessing, you know, um, all the hard work kind of paying off. Um, being there with my, my brothers, doing it with my brothers, you can tell after, I mean, Kyle, first one there celebrating me and just getting to the sideline, all my brothers there being, being there and just celebrating me for my first touchdown, it was truly a blessing. What have you kind of learned from a guy like Jordan and how he goes about his business? Uh, just super humble, uh, hard working, uh, stays after hours, um, just hard, humble, dedicated person. Uh, I take things from him that he probably doesn't know and uh, he's just truly a, a talented player. Absolutely. Um, what's it been like? We've heard a lot about just how motivated you guys have been in practice and how how much you got, how well you guys kind of responded uh, in the locker room for some of the older guys. What's that been like to experience, go through this experience of these past few days with uh, uh, with these guys? Uh, just just getting back in the lab and just working. You know, uh, everything's not going to uh, go its way, and that's that's life. And you know, you got to learn how to bounce back. And so we're just here working hard, um, just coming together stronger and uh, ready to compete. So. And that's what that's what brought us together. Have you noticed Kevin uptake in energy and practices these past couple days? Almost definitely, but we we, we got to continue. We got to have that every single practice. Uh, don't just let that be the thing to fuel us. It should, it should be in our minds always. So I think just going to practice, com uh, competing, and having fun is the most important thing. Did you catch the uh, Mario De Bosco game a couple weeks ago? Oh yeah, most definitely had to. What did you think? Uh, what did you think of how Elijah looked? Elijah looked like Elijah looks always. Uh, just just a talented, humble young kid. Um, uh, just, I mean, talented um, and just throwing the ball like it's ease. And uh, he's just truly, truly a good guy and just a humble person. So, yeah. Have you or CJ or Rui kind of hit him up like, hey, man, come to, you know, SC's waiting for you? Almost definitely. But uh, he's still young. He's yeah. junior year, so he has one more year. Just take his time, enjoy high school. Like I tell them, just enjoying high school and, and let all the recruiting stuff happen. Was it, was it nice to uh, put Bosco back in their place after they had that one ranking? Oh, 100%. But, uh, I mean, things don't go your way, like I said, and it just it makes them, it makes you just prove yourself. So, yeah. Absolutely. What are you kind of, what, do you have any personal goals or what are you kind of working on as kind of we head into the second half of the season here? Um, no really personal goals. I just want to work, um, get better as a team, uh, just compete and, and just be with my brothers. I mean, they make me better each and every day. And uh, so just continue to um, get to where we want as a team and just and love each other and be the uh, team that we want to be. How have you seen Caleb respond from to the loss count over the past couple days? Uh, shoot, he came out here the next day ready to compete, ready to have fun. And and that's the, the, the talented self he is. So I think just having that, that, that mindset Knowing that everything, like I said before, isn't going to go your way, and just having that mindset to come the next day and just compete, and uh, have that hard work and talent. So yeah. What do you see from him? What really stands out to him uh, as kind of a leader, even though he's one of the younger guys? Uh, humble, um, going to practice, just ready to work, uh, ready to be the, the QB that he is, and just just go out there and have fun. I mean, even out at practice today, he just when he's not in, he, he's coaching them up or just dancing on sideline, just just getting bringing that energy, and that's something that us players, offensive players and defensive players need. What's it like to be in a team like this and be in a culture like this where you have a guy like Gentry, you know, hopping out there on the field to fire up the defense or, you know? That's just, that just shows the passion that we got as a team, the brotherhood. Um, it, it's bigger than yourself. And so, I mean, he, he came on the field and showed his energy. And, I mean, personally, I didn't see it until I saw it on Twitter, but um, just seeing that energy that he brought to the, the defensive players, um, just showing his love and his passion for one another. Absolutely. Uh, Travis Dye just seems like he's, you know, very outspoken, uh, big, big leader. What have you seen just kind of – what what impresses you about him? Uh, shoot, Travis, man, uh, he's a hardworking dude. I mean, I used to watch him at uh, Oregon. I mean, my brother plays at Oregon, so I kind of have – was obligated to watch them. But um, just seeing seeing the talent he has, uh, the hard work, and now just seeing it with my eyes. I mean, he's just a talented, humble, hardworking. I mean, it takes about five, six, seven dudes to take him down. And just uh, he's a hard runner, so yeah, Travis, my guy. What is particularly either surprised or stood out to uh, stood out to you about him from you know watching him kind of from a distance at Oregon to now playing alongside him and sharing a locker room with him? Uh, just seeing his humble self, his hard working, um, just come out here ready to compete, have fun. Uh, he just he tells us as a group just to continue is bigger than yourself, um, just to work together. So yeah. What stood out from just having? Travis in the locker room, just having the offense. Uh, what stood out? I mean, just being the leader he is, uh, going out there and just kind of having that passion that he has, and it kind of 
it, it hovers over us and it kind of makes us want to have the same passion. How's he like as a competitor? Uh, he's just, I mean, as you can tell, it takes about seven, eight dudes to tackle him. So, I mean, just being that, that competitor he is, I mean, uh, Travis is going to be Travis and I love it. What do you think about him? How would he wear the gloves? Travis? Sure. Old style, type of running back, ready to explode through the hole, score every single time he gets the ball. So, I mean, he's going to do what he does, swag going to carry itself.